UK journalist Toby Young has announced that he will be starting what he calls a free speech union to protect people who feel like their legal right to self-expression is under threat. Many have lauded this as a big step for free speech in Britain and it begs the question, would a similar idea work in Ireland? This is Ben Scallon with Gripped Media. Earlier last week, the High Court in the UK ruled that a police probe into a man's tweets had been illegal. Ex-policeman Harry Miller was confronted by the authorities over jokes he made about being trans species and identifying as a fish. For these comments he was accused of what is known as a non-crime hate incident and potentially faced legal consequences. However, ultimately the authorities were found by the High Court to be in the wrong and many are hailing this as a victory for free speech in Britain. This event is far from an isolated incident however. In recent years Britain has seen a plethora of similar events. For example, there was the case of 38-year-old mother Kate Scotto who was arrested in front of her children and incarcerated for 7 hours after calling a transgender woman a man over Twitter. She was just recently convicted in court over the incident this year. There was also the case of teenage Chelsea Russell who was found guilty of a hate crime after posting lyrics from a Snoop Dogg song which contained the N-word. She had posted it on Instagram as a tribute to a boy who had died in a car crash. Government overreach like this has been a pattern in Britain with UK police defining a hate incident as one which is perceived by the victim or any other person to be motivated by hostility or prejudice. Many have demonstrated that this is an incredibly loose and subjective definition as it allows other people's personal perception of an event to make it a criminal offence. This opens the entire legal system up to a whole host of potential abuses. In response to this, UK journalist Toby Young has announced that later this month he will be launching a free speech union which promises to aid any member whose free speech is being infringed upon. The union will help by mobilizing support, spreading awareness and offering legal advice so individuals don't have to face the baying mob alone. Its motto is Audi Alturum Partem, which is Latin for dare to listen to the other side. In this context, maybe we could learn lessons from these developments. With rapidly approaching hate speech laws in Ireland, which have been supported by all major political parties, and Garda Commissioner Drew Harris taking it upon himself to draft definitions of hate crime for his officers with no democratic mandate, it seems like Ireland may soon be in for a similar experience of having freedom of expression throttled on the altar of political correctness. Perhaps then, with openness, fairness and freedom of expression under threat, it might make sense for Ireland to consider ideas like having a free speech union to protect people's right to legitimate self-expression. But what are your thoughts? Would a free speech union be a good idea in Ireland or would this idea even work? Be sure to share this video and let us know how you feel in the comments below. Thanks for watching.